Hello and welcome. Bad Ideas 101 asked me recently how to use proxy files in Shotcut in a comment. And even though it's not a built-in feature, you can totally do this to speed up your editing. I will show you how. Remember to subscribe if you haven't yet to support this channel. We are using a 4K 24fps clip of some cute bunnies by Mario J.R. Matos. And to demonstrate what proxy files are good for, I want to quickly skip through the video. Just jump through look at some frames, find a nice place to cut it perhaps, and as you can see it takes quite a while. My computer is not the fastest machine, this is a 4K video. This demands a little better processing power than I have to really quickly just skip through it. So I have to wait about one second for each frame to appear, sometimes maybe half a second. But if I use a smaller video, the same video but rendered at a smaller resolution, then I can skip through it really quickly. I can even just drag it through. Just look at this, I can play it backwards, play it at faster speed if I want. That's how fast it is on my machine all of a sudden, simply by reducing the resolution of this video. For example, if I want to find uh, the spot, the moment where the bunny raises his head, here. Easy. But if I want to do this in the original video, I have to wait... wait... Oh, okay, too far, too far. Wait, you get my point, you get my point. If this, if you have a much longer video, this is only 22 seconds, this takes a lot of time and adds a lot of frustration. The proxy file is the same video with a smaller resolution, and because a computer can show a small image much faster than a big one, this can be used to speed up editing. So first up, we need to create this small version of our original video. Let me just close Shotcut and bring up our original file. This is a 4K video. We're gonna start Shotcut, and the first thing I'm gonna do is just drag the video in, show the timeline, drag the video into the timeline, and if we look at properties, where is that? Properties, here. We can see it's uh, resolution over here. Don't be fooled, this number for some reason is incorrect. We will get back to this later. But here we can see the resolution and frame rate, and we can see it's quite huge. So our goal now is to make a proxy file, a small version of this video. For this we drag the video into the timeline and do not edit it. Under no circumstance do you have to make any changes to it. Also make sure it starts at 0, 0, otherwise we will not be able to work with it. Because at the end we're gonna edit the small video file, and then when we're done we're gonna tell Shotcut to replace it with a big video file. So what we're gonna do is export it, we're gonna press export, and we're gonna export it at a smaller resolution. We're gonna calculate its aspect ratio, and we're gonna use a calculator to reduce its resolution. But before we do this, I would suggest that you confirm the resolution of your video because for some reason some codecs give wrong information. If we open the video in VLC and just pause it, we can press right click and go to Tools, Media Information. And here in codec we can see that the resolution is actually 3840 by 2048. However, here in uh, Shotcut it says 3840, which is correct by 2026, and uh, display resolution and resolution somehow differ. I'm not quite familiar with the reason for this issue, I have seen it many times throughout the years, it's just something to consider and uh, to be aware of. In Shotcut the incorrect resolution is being used, so we're just gonna switch this to, 20, to 48, I mean. And now let's get the aspect ratio calculator, this is uh, an online tool, I recommend it very much, the link is in the description of this video. And uh, oh, it remembered the last values I entered, usually it's defaults to these numbers, but we can just copy them and paste them. And now we have to decide how small do we want to make the proxy file. And uh, I would usually say one quarter of the original size, so this divided by four, for example, would be 960. But we can go lower. I'm going to just divide it by 2. We're going to get 480. So we just enter 4, 480 and it spits out the uh, other number, the uh, height of the video that we need to keep the aspect ratio. So we're going to copy this and we're going to not change aspect ratio, we're going to just change resolution. 256, 480. All right, and now we're just gonna hit export file. We're gonna use the same folder where the original is and I'm gonna name the file cutebunniesmall.mp4. 
This is a weird bug on Windows and Shortcut. It doesn't add v.mp4 if you don't write it manually. All right, we're going to save and it's going to render. All done. Now let's just confirm in VLC. It, at least I can tell that it's of a lower quality and so should you. And this is perfect because we can much faster now jump through the video and edit it quicker. Make sure that you treat these numbers right. You can start again if it doesn't work. If it doesn't work per se, you can use Handbrake, a wonderful open source tool for re-rendering videos, converting video files. You can just drag it in and immediately you can change the resolution. Unfortunately, again, this is the incorrect resolution here. So here you would go ahead and write 480 by, yeah, keep aspect ratio. That's really, huh. So we would write 256. And uh, I think you can simply export it then. Just confirm that the frame rate, yeah, this is the importance. Make sure the frame rate is identical. If you change the frame rate between original and proxy, you're gonna get into a world of hurt because editing often is frame perfect. And then you can just start and code and move the file where it needs to be. But our method worked with using shortcut, so that's good for me. And now we're gonna prepare the project because I want to keep it clean and because shortcut sometimes gets unstable, let's close shortcut, not save and just start it afresh. These tools we don't need anymore. All right, here we go. Just gonna get rid of some windows. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drag in the big video file, the original one, not the small one, not the proxy file, but the big one. We're gonna drag it in and drag it to the timeline. And that's it, we're gonna now just save it. Do not uh, export it, do not export video. I want you to actually save it. We're going to use the same folder and this one we're going to call bunny original. Just going to hit save, make sure it has v.mlt ending. And now we're just going to go ahead and close it again. Here it is. And remember it used the cute bunny's big video. What we're going to do now is we're going to trick shortcut into believing that it lost track of the file. We're going to rename this file to cute bunny's big gone. And what we're going to do now is we're going to start shortcut yet again. And we're going to tell it to open the file, the project file, not the video file, bunnyoriginal.mlt. And now it says files are missing. Double click each row to locate the file. And we're going to double click this. And we're going to pick not the big file, but the small one. All right, and we're going to press OK. OK, so now we can skip through with the speed of a small file and we can make all the changes we want. And then later we're gonna do the same thing and replace it with a big one. So what I wanna do is I wanna cut off the intro, just gonna split it here. I want to skip it, yeah, I just wanna cut from head is down to head is up. And I wanna get rid of the chicken in the background. Also, I think, yeah, maybe a little, a little more of this, okay. Gonna get rid of that, gonna get rid of that, gonna get rid of the chicken. Yeah, actually, all of this, remove, and then I want to crossfade to the, let's call them credits. And that's it. That's all I wanted to do. Just one cut. Uh, there it was, and then one fade. All right, so what we're going to do now is just hit save and close the project yet again. This one was saved as uh, bunny original dash repaired. Watch out for new versions of shortcut. They might change uh, how they name the files. Also, in future versions of Shotcut, it might actually try to find files using their hashes. So you might have to move this file in a completely different folder to prevent that from fixing it. But anyways, we are done with the editing. So now we want to uh, make Shotcut think that it lost track of the small or proxy file. So we're going to rename this to uh, Cute Bunny's Small Gone. And if you want, you can rename the big file back to cute bunnies big without gone but that doesn't really matter all right we're going to start shortcut once again we're going to hit the open file button and we're going to open the repaired project and again it says there's a file missing double click to locate the file and we're going to do this and uh, we're going to select the big one the cute bunnies big which is the original one here we go press ok and here we are back to the slow skipping, but it is the original file, the original file size. 
if we go to properties and click on one of the clips we can see it's back to 4k and if we go to export we can just hit well i guess we'll just leave it at this resolution let's see what happens let's just export it and uh, i'm just gonna keep this weird name which is like bunny original repaired repaired hey why not and here it goes rendering as per usual basically what we did in the small project we made it nicer to edit the file to edit our project and faster we saved some time possibly uh, but it definitely made it more pleasant to do because when you click and then you have to wait a second or half a second that feels really unpleasant to most people i think all right the rendering is done while i was talking over it here it is here is the file and here you can see the cut is here and the fade is here okay, i'm just gonna pause it go to tools media information and we can see in codex that the resolution is oh my now it's uh 380 38 40 by 2050 completely new number oh boy well this is something different this has nothing to do with this uh with this tutorial i think if you know anything about these weird uh shifts in resolution and display resolution let me know i'm curious to learn stuff in the comments but this is it for creating a proxy one word of warning to watch out for this proxy file method will probably not work if you use filters that modify or rely on dimension values if we go to filters and look for something like for example for example the size and position one if we move things around this will probably mess things up uh can we yeah we can just drag it here and here we see it let's just test this if we save this close it as per usual and make the big one go away then open this up once again replace it with a small one yeah yeah uh if we go to filters uh we can see that this is kind of messed up we can see the frame is correct but that's uh, it doesn't reflect the change we want so if you want to make any size and position changes for example you might want to add this later once you're done with the cutting you might want to make a small test project before working on a big project with this method for reference i am using which version of shotcut i'm using 18.1.2 so you should have the same version or a more recent one if you have any issues hopefully that'll fix it apart from that i hope this helps and that you can save some time and have a more pleasant time editing video please subscribe to support this channel of mine and see you next time ciao